Monday night, Baltimore City Council passed through a bill to create an office to end homelessness. With it, a local voucher program to transition people from permanent supportive housing to affordable housing. Carolyn Johnson, a managing attorney with the Homeless Persons Representation Project, said this model is already working well in other big cities. It would freeze up the system um, so that the most vulnerable people can be served in permanent supportive housing. And it allows those folks in permanent supportive housing to maintain their housing security by having that permanent housing voucher um, so they don't have to, you know, be required to pay market rent and face high, you know, high rents that they can't afford. The right to counsel bill would give tenants free counsel in eviction matters. Right now, 96% of landlords have legal representation as opposed to 1% of tenants. Part of the bill requires landlords to let tenants know about their new option for free counsel when a lease is signed and eviction complaint is sent. If they had representation, about 84% would not be evicted. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot that's being evicted and, and shouldn't be. So lots of things from not owing the money, but lots of landlords do not give receipts. That way when they, they either want the tenant out or they want more money, they can file a complaint and there's no handwritten receipts or ledger. Councilman Ryan Dorsey sponsored both of these bills that passed unanimously. He says the Office to End Homelessness will create more checks and balances than the system in place now. Create a director position who is no longer simply appointed by the mayor, but instead is nominated by the mayor and confirmed by the city council, like every other agency that we take seriously. He's also calling out the mayor's office to remove these signs posted at an encampment under 83, telling the people who sleep there to vacate this week. A spokesperson for the mayor's office told us the sign will be removed and that no one will be arrested. The sign itself has the chilling effect of uh, inciting anxiety and fear that it will happen on Wednesday. And so just by having that there, uh, it increases the likelihood that people will preemptively leave. And the next step for these bills, they'll go to Mayor Jack Young's desk. He can either sign them into law or veto them. Live at Baltimore City Hall, Eddie Cato, WMAR 2 News. Very good. Thank you, Eddie.